Hey everybody, Joe Joseph here for thedailysheeple.com, and this is your new shot. So I'm going to go first to scmp.com, scmp.com, the South China Morning Post. Now folks, this is the danger, and I, I don't want to call it danger per se, because is it a direct danger to us? No, only if we implement it the wrong way. And of course, I'm talking about artificial intelligence and robotics and the advancements that are happening so fast within that industry and within that science that we really have to be responsible and take into account just what kind of changes are going to take place uh, societally and, and also personally with you because this is going to directly affect your way of life. They're reporting Chinese robot dentist is the first to fit implants in patient's mouth without any human involvement. And, I mean, this is huge because if it can do complex operations like uh, dental implants, why then, what do we need dentists for? Now, all of a sudden, you've got these big national uh, franchises, if you will, for dentist's office, for doctor's office, for specialists. Within the medical industry, you've really seen, much like an industry a concentration of wealth and resources with these big mega corporations. You're also seeing the same thing occur within these um, medical networks that are going on. So this would be very easy for them to implement because think about it. If you can get an, a robot to replace a dentist in your, in your dentist office, why then you're going to, first of all, that, that robot's going to pay itself off very quickly. So you're not looking at having to uh, capitalize your loss or capitalize your uh, expenses for that long. I mean, you're talking about what's this uh, robot? Maybe two, three million dollars. You'll make that back in five years with a robot, if if not less. You know, and then what? After that, it's all gravy. You're not paying the robot any benefits. You're not paying the robot uh, salary. You basically fix it when it breaks. Maybe have a service contract associated with it. Not really all that big a deal. I mean, this is, um, again, something to be very concerned about. Not just in the fact that, A, it could really remove all of the human error involved with um, surgery and complex surgeries. But also, think about all the people that now displaces. You know, we've been thinking a lot about the $15 an hour McDonald's employees. But here is a stark example of how even the highest paying jobs will be eliminated and eliminated soon, my friends, soon with this advancement in technology, which then begs the question, then why? Why even bother putting doctors through school anymore? What are we doing? You see, this is the, this is the problem with AI in that if we don't utilize it correctly, and if we don't implement it responsibly, then what's going to happen is you're going to have a lot of displaced people with no direction, nowhere to turn, nowhere to go, and it's going to cause a crisis very fast. And the fact is that this technology has been in our hands and within our grasp for the last 100 years. The technology that factions of our government that remain unaccountable to Congress, to uh, agencies, to even the president. I've had technology like this that could basically free humanity and revolutionize the way that we live. But of course, when you do that, you cede control. And that's exactly what they don't want to do. You know, this AI is just one of many threats that we face, but it's a threat only because we perceive it as such and because it's being presented as such. You know, um, in another article over at naturalnews.com, naturalnews.com says new AI can diagnose Alzheimer's 10 years before human doctors. Well, I mean, if this is the case, why aren't we implementing this large scale? Why? Well, you're going to have a lot of pissed off doctors that don't want this technology. And instead of hospitals implementing this technology, what's going to end up happening is Doctors are going to end up throwing a fit. They're not going to come to work. They may even strike because of this type of technology. And then what happens? 
then what happens is you have a huge medical crisis on your hands because this can't be implemented fast enough. Much like the reason why uh, the petroleum industry continues to thrive today, even though we've had free energy technology um, in, our, in our grasp for well over 100 years. I mean, Nikola Tesla died in the 1940s, but it was in the 1920s that a lot of his research, even earlier than that, where, where he came to understand free energy. You know, um, T. Henry Moray, another pioneer in the free energy arena, created a box. And within that box, it was a small box, you know, pretty dense, about 50 to 60 pounds. But this box could generate 60,000 watts of power from the vacuum of the space around us. They say that within one cubic foot of space, just the, the air that we breathe, everything around us, right? There's enough energy within that one cubic foot to boil the oceans away on, on planet Earth. That's how much energy exists around us. I mean, we're energetic. We, we are energy beings. That's what we are. And we're part of this sea of energy, this construct that's been created for us. And until we come to the, and face the reality that we've been duped, we've been had for a long time, we'll never be able to get through and get over all of these crises that don't have to be, you know. We look at disease and famine and unemployment and, you know, the lack of sanitary conditions and quality of life throughout the world. Three billion people on this planet are, star are starving right now. And we have absolutely at humanity's disposal, I say humanity because this technology and a lot of it is being repressed. We have the ability to solve all that tomorrow. And actually, we have the power to stop all this and actually bring this forth. And all it takes is for people to just do nothing. So, if we would just sit on our butts, not do a damn thing, let the system crash around us, we could then take the system back and implement this technology, implement these things in a responsible way that benefits humanity instead of being a curse to humanity. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's news shot. Feel free to comment below and visit our website at thedailysheeple.com. Have a great day, everybody.